Celebrating a 100th birthday, Vonnegut style, Chris Cecil is a board member of the Vonnegut Memorial Library and is here with us this morning. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Okay, so Vonnegut Fest, what is this? Tell us all about it. Well, Vonnegut Fest is really um, the culmination of a year-long uh, program that we've been putting on Vonnegut at 100. Um, as you know, it's Kurt's 100th birthday on November 11th, which is also Veterans Day. Uh, Kurt himself was a veteran and POW. And so um, really culminating with November 11th and 12th, uh, we've got Vonnegut Con and then our uh, big gala uh, at Lucas Oil Estate on the 12th. So this all uh, begins a little bit on Thursday, but those are the finishing ends of it. Um, can people just show up on the Veterans Day event to, on the 11th? Yeah, so November 11th is a free event. Um, there will be live music, uh, food, refreshments. Um, we do have a bar at the museum as well, so you can have some drinks and cocktails. Um, and then we'll have a few authors, Tim O'Brien and Christina Jarvis as well, um, that'll be there this weekend. But um, yeah, definitely come out on Saturday, completely free. Um, you're encouraged to bring your favorite Vonnegut uh, memorabilia, first edition copies. Um, I've got my favorite copy here, uh, mm -hmm. Player Piano. Um, tattoos, things like that. So just all Vonnegut people kind of hanging out together for Kurt. <laughs> I love that. Well, and Kurt, a uh, staple here in Indiana, from Indiana, but for anyone not familiar, kind of give us a little bit about his history and importance here. Yeah, so um, Kurt, you know, like you mentioned, born and raised here in Indianapolis. He actually attended Short Ridge High School um, and then went to Cornell University. Um, after Cornell, then he went over uh, and fought the Germans in, in World War II uh, with the Army, and that's where he was captured and was a POW, and really that's where the majority of his influence comes from is not only both you know Indianapolis but also those uh, war times as well. And you said that you guys do a lot of work with veterans. How so? And if anyone is watching, how can they get involved? Yeah, so uh, the third floor on the museum is actually an art gallery and uh, all of the artists that are featured there are veterans themselves. Mm. Um, we also do a lot of uh, veteran programming and then uh, a lot of uh, student workshops and teacher workshops as well. And you guys just got recognized, uh, an honor to talk about this. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> so earlier this year, um, kind of during this year-long celebration, um, we were honored by the American uh, Library Association as a literary landmark, which is the first one here in Indiana, which is pretty awesome. That is amazing and certainly needed. Um, if people want to take part in some of these events, how can they do so? Where can they get more information? Yeah, so our website is vonnegutlibrary.org. Um, we've got an events tab there. Um, so really the whole week and weekend's worth of events are all detailed there. And I've heard they might see you dress like Kurt at one of these events. So maybe definitely check it out, right, Rumor Chris? has it that the beard comes off and the wig goes on. Ah, uh, I can't wait. <laughs> All right. Chris, thank you so much. We appreciate you being here. Thanks for having me.